Hi guys! Today's tutorial is all about um, how to paint your nails and how to get kind of a perfect at-home manicure. Um, I, for one, am extremely messy when it comes to painting my nails and I have to clean up you know, every single time, I've never perfectly painted my nails. So, if you want to learn how to get your nails to look like this, instead of having paint all over your fingers and flooding your cuticles, keep on watching. Um, by the way, this uh, tutorial is for my dear friend, Nikki. Um, you're great, and I love you, and uh, keep on watching to see how I get my nails to look like this. Bye, guys! Okay, so um, it's pretty basic. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start with a base coat, any base coat that you like. I'm going to choose um, this one, which I just picked up last week. I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my nails with this, and then we're going to get on to the color. All right. Okay, I have my base coat on now, and um, I'm going to paint my nails with OPI um, Fly. This was in their Nicki Minaj collection a while back. Now this is the hand, my right hand, because I'm right hand dominant, that gives me the most trouble. So um, this is why mainly I clean up my nails at the end with the method that I do because I am so, so messy when it comes to this hand. See, I'm already shaking with my left, like it's disgusting how bad I am at doing this. And I'm just going to, I am I know that I'm going to get it all over my fingers. Um, and that's fine because that's the this is the purpose of this video is to show you how you can get a really nice looking manicure at home and make it look perfect every single time. Okay, um, I have the first coat on, and as you can see, I was messy. Um, I try not to flood my cuticles, but hey, it happens. <laughs> And that's why we're going to clean up. So I'm going to go on to do probably a couple more coats to get this opaque. And then I'm going to show you how I clean them up. Alrighty. These are my finished nails. They've been painted. And as you can see, I have made a damn mess out of them. Um, they're still very, very wet right now. I just got done with a third coat. Um, even if uh, nail polish has um, full opacity and like one or two coats. I still go three for some reason. I don't know. But, um, so here they are just right after they've been painted. I'm gonna wait just a little bit to let, um, my nails just get tacky. Not dry dry, but, um, I'm gonna let them get, you know, a little dried down, and then we're gonna clean them up. All right? See you later. All right. Now, um, we're getting up to the cleanup. The first thing you're gonna need is, um, some nail polish remover, obviously. This is my jug of acetone that I always use. It's just a, a jar. Um, as you can see, mine's filthy. That's not mold, by the way. That's just old acetone that I spilled out of here. Um, I refill it uh, quite often. I pour the old out and put new in all the time. You're also going to need um, an old brush that you don't care about. This is just an old eyeliner brush. Um, Basically, you want to test this first, dip it in your nail polish remover first, and make sure that the uh, hairs aren't going to come out, that the remover isn't going to eat away at the glue that's keeping these hairs in here. Alright, you're going to dip your brush into the nail polish remover, and you're just going to go around the edges. And get that paint off of your skin. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just going around on the other side. Now around the cuticle.
as you can see that acetone just cuts right through any of the excess polish that you have and so you end up with that instead of that <laughs> you see the difference <laughs> and I'm just gonna do the same on all of my nails once you get the hang of this you are gonna be a nail polish and freak you are gonna wanna do this all the time but like I said you can use a q-tip I just don't feel that it's as precise as a brush um, you get really clean crisp lines with a brush and if you have really weak brittle nails don't use acetone because it's just going to make it worse And this also works on glitter polish as well. If you got glitter on the sides, um, this really works. And also this tub that I dip my that I'm dipping my brush in right now, that is fantastic for removing um, glitter nail polish. It is the best. Just submerge the nail for a while and then start um, taking it off. Alrighty, here we go. We are now ready for top coat and my favorite one is Sheshvit favorite favorite if you're looking for a good fast drying top coat it is absolutely Sheshvit for me see how simple that was um, pretty looking nails uh, if you have any questions or requests on a tutorial or anything like that um, you can ask me down below or Follow me on the Twitter. I'm on the Twitter now. Uh, I'll have the link down there in the uh, description box. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.